Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. Listen, we're Housewives of Atlanta. There's a lot that I want to share with you guys. Not too much, but three things very quickly. Sonia Richards Ross, my favorite housewife of season 15. Y'all, I'm afraid for Sonia. I am afraid for Sonia. Sonia ain't got no contract. Sonia ain't got no pre filming meeting. According to her stint on the two T's in a pot, y'all know Tamara Judge and Teddy Mellencamp, they have their podcast. Sonia appeared on their podcast and basically said, ain't no contract and ain't no pre-filming meeting. Go ahead and check this out. Have you had your pre-filming meeting yet? No, nobody has. I think the show is in a weird spot. That's, there's no denying that, right? Like, I think that the network isn't sure what, where they want to go. And the only thing that I asked was, are we going to know before the public knows? Because it was news to me when I read it. And they said, no, we will know first. So the reason I made that post was like, stop everybody putting stuff out there when it's not factual. Like, none of us know what's going to happen with the show yet. Yo, so I guess the good thing is, don't nobody got a contract? Didn't nobody do that, uh, you know, pre-filming meeting, I guess? But... It still makes me nervous, all right? Because even Teddy Mellencamp was on there talking about some. Even when I had my pre-filming meeting before my last season, I still didn't make it onto that season. So they could do a whole switch of ruin, really do a number on you. And so uh, it looks like they're still trying to figure out what they want to do. Remember that TMZ article that we read out uh, last week about Kim Zolciak and how they're not interested in bringing her back because they want fresh new faces? I do believe in that. There is some validity to the claims on, uh, you know, lovebscott.com that they want to do a overhaul of the entire thing. So um, let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below. Cynthia Bailey, Cynthia Bailey. Um, she went on to Tamron Hall. She's dating again, and I'm super happy. First off, Cynthia looks amazing. Number two, I'm happy that she's moving on because at the age of what, 55, I believe she is. We don't have time to stay in unhappy situations. I mean, life is short. So listen, girl, don't stay in an unhappy marriage. Move on to the next one. Um, apparently, she's dating a very well-known man. I'm excited for her. Check this out. How did you meet <laughs> that person you went out on a date with? He slid in my DMs. Yes. Is he, is he well-known? He is. How did it go? Amazing. Amazing? Amazing. <laughs> you know, he's someone, um, you know, who wants his privacy as well yeah, of course yeah. i'm really trying to keep my personal life private oh my god i just love her she's beautiful i kind of miss cynthia i was on a whole campaign to get rid of cynthia and now i kind of want cynthia back not that i want cynthia back but i just miss her spirit um y'all gotta let me know who do y'all think this mystery man is cynthia bailey i'm scared for you sis because every time you find a man it just goes up in flames uh remember the light-skinned guy she met two light-skinned uh, guys, I believe on the Steve Harvey show, one, she ended up marrying uh, Mike Hill. And then didn't she meet the other light skinned guy, Will? Didn't he get set up with Cynthia Bailey via Steve Harvey too? Or am I making that up? Y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below. And, um, you know, we all know what happened with Peter. So I just kind of feel like, I mean, she'd be running through him. But listen, girl, like I said, you're a woman of a particular age and you don't have time to sit in unhappiness. So. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Last but not least, I want to go ahead and mention Jamie, Portia, and Candy. So remember in that Christmas episode with Miss Juicy and them, um, where Portia, I think it was Portia and Shamia, they were dressed up like snowmen, like sexy snowmen or something like that. And at the end of the episode, Portia beat this girl up in the alleyway. Well, that girl, her name is Jamie, and Jamie works for Candy or works with Candy. Jamie produces speak on it and she also does a lot of like social media content and stuff like that and this is so random and so weird but I noticed little stuff like this so Candy put up recently this was today she put this photo up it's tiny the brat the brat's new baby I believe okay that she had with the white man and then Candy and Portia but if you look at the uh, caption it says I'm loving seeing so brat in mommy mode at major girl at Portia for real. And I are in love with true legend. I guess the names, the baby's name, excuse me, is true legend who has 279,000 Instagram followers. Wow. Anyways. And then it says the photo was taken by house of glam. Wait. So Jamie and Portia are cool enough to be in the same room. Portia is cool enough with Jamie. Now Jamie is the one that Portia allegedly beat up in the alleyway. 
So you mean to tell me that Jamie and Portia, like, hell is frozen over and the pigs are flying. They're cool enough to where Jamie can photograph Portia. Listen, now, if only God could make it work, if only Jesus could fix it between Phaedra and Candy, y'all gotta let me know how y'all feel about the situation in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day. Bye.